Hello, hello, welcome back. This is another simple and tasty recipe. Today I'm going to be creating a homemade veggie pizza. Start off by adding a cup of warm water to your measuring cup. The temperature of the water needs to be between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Then pour in your sugar, yeast, and accent and give these ingredients a quick mix and set your cup to the side for about 10 minutes until your yeast forms a top layer of foam. After 10 minutes, this is what your yeast should look like. Grab your bowl of flour and create a well in the center of your flour. Then add in the remaining sugar and accent along with the yeast mixture. Then mix in your ingredients until the dough begins to form. On a clean work surface, sprinkle down some all-purpose flour and pour out your dough. Then knead the dough for about five minutes until it forms a nice round ball. In the same bowl where I mix in my ingredients, I'm going to add oil all around this bowl, then I'm going to place in my dough. Add a little bit of oil to the top of your dough and then cover the bowl with plastic wrap. You want to place the bowl in a warm area, preferably your stove and let the dough rise for about 30 minutes to an hour. After an hour, this is what my dough looks like. So now I'm just gonna poke my dough to see if it needs to proof a little longer. Once is enough, I just got a little carried away. <laughs> Next, we're gonna sprinkle some flour on our work surface and knead the dough again for about two minutes.
Make sure you flour your rolling pin. It'll help roll out the dough easier. With the tip of your fingers, press out the dough and add a little bit of flour so the dough won't shrink so quickly when you're pressing it out. With your rolling pin, stretch the dough out some more into a round pizza shape. Next, you want to transfer your dough to a pizza pan and roll in the edges of your dough. Now let's start adding our tomato sauce. Place the sauce in the center of the pizza and spread it out until you get to the edge of the pizza just right before the crust. I know what you're thinking and no, this is not your traditional pizza sauce. Now let's add a generous amount of mozzarella cheese. Now let's add the rest of the toppings. If you click on this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit your notification bell. Now let's continue adding our toppings. Don't forget to preheat your oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Pizza is best served with a side salad, wings, mozzarella sticks, or even garlic bread. Paying for that $10 or $20 pizza, who knew it was so easy to create your own?
at this time if you want to add any additional sauces to your pizza like buffalo sauce garlic sauce hot sauce ranch barbecue sauce then go ahead and add it to your pizza here i'm adding my favorite pizza sauces barbecue sauce and ranch next you want to brush the edges of your pizza with oil to ensure that you'll get that nice golden crispy crust Then place your pizza in your preheated oven for about eight minutes. Here's an amazing homemade veggie pizza. And look, check out the crust. Let's add some red peppers and squeeze on some more ranch and barbecue sauce. This pizza looks delicious and I just can't wait to eat. I'm not good at cutting pizza, so excuse how it's being cut. Turns out I was able to cut eight slices of pizza. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye.